Now, UK inflation unexpectedly rose to 4% this morning, according to official data from the ONS. And here to break it down is our economics and business editor, Liam Halligan, with On The Money. There's been a surprise increase in UK inflation, according to data out this morning. And that's not going to do the government any favours. Inflation doesn't fall in a straight line. We need to stick to our plans, says Chancellor Jeremy Hunt. But this is bad news for the Tories, not least amidst this drama in the House of Commons. Let's have a look at the scores on the doors. During the year to December 2023, the Consumer Price Index, a basket of goods and services, was 4% higher than it was in December 2022. That's up from 3.9% in November, even though most economists expected inflation to fall. I should say, though, that inflation is much, much lower than it was back in October 2022, when we had that 11.1% 40-year high although it's now still twice the Bank of England's 2% target. By international standards, we are a high inflation economy. Our 4% compares to Eurozone inflation of 2.9% in December and US inflation of 3.4%. Britain tends to have very high energy costs, not least for domestic gas and electricity. Why is inflation rising? It's partly because alcohol and tobacco prices were 12.9% higher in December than in December 2022, partly because of government duty increases. Clothing and footwear was 6.4% higher. That's higher than a 5.7% num inflation number in November. And recreation and culture costs, they were also 5.7% higher, up from 5.3% the month before. You should note that mobile and broadband bills could be going up because of this December number. That's because many of the communications companies, their mid-contract price increases are calculated by the December inflation number plus 4%. So that's 3.9 plus 4 is 7.9% rise in bills. And that can be expected from April. Food price inflation, though, is down, and that's good news. In December, it was 8%, down from 9% in November, because many supermarkets were discounting in the run-up to Christmas. In general, though, food prices are still an eye-watering 30% up from where they were in October 2021. Transport costs are down, and that's good news. Across the board, transport was 1.3% lower in December than it was in December 2022. That's because petrol was down 8.1% on the year and diesel prices were 15.5% down. Great news when you're filling up your car or your van. What does all this mean for interest rates? Well, the next Bank of England Monetary Policy Committee meeting is on Thursday the 1st of February. The MPC has held interest rates at 5.25% since August. Mortgage companies have already started discounting from that number because they expect interest rates to fall rapidly in the months and years to come. But will mortgage rates keep falling? Now inflation has started to go back up again. One thing on the Bank of England's mind are geopolitical risks. We could see a spike in the price of oil and gas, not least because of those attacks on freight shipping in the Red Sea leading to the Suez Canal and also into and out of the Persian Gulf. Those attacks, even though we haven't seen an increase in oil and gas prices in particular so far, they have led to freight shipping costs to double over the last month because of extra insurance and because freight shipping has to be diverted around the whole of the African continent if it can't go through the Suez Canal. And that will be inflationary. So there has been a surprise rise in inflation and the Labour Party, of course, is making hay. Only Labour can deliver the change Britain needs and make working people better off, says Shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves. This cost of living squeeze, it's still very much with us. And that's bad news for the Tories.